Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Ciao Antonio. How are you today? I'm great. And you? I'm perfect. Ah, excellent. Because we're here at Verona One Pan. Yeah. The beautiful city of Verona. Absolutely. All right, this is Chef Andrea Andrea. and Anthony or Antonio, depending. Depends. <laughs> so, what is Today the dish? Antonio. The, Today dish Antonio. the dish is probably the most famous. Today we make carbonara. Ah, the delicious. original recipe. Original. Say, hey. say, yeah. Though there's many, many, many variations, right. but today we try to make something classic. Okay. With not too much ingredients. Let's say three, four ingredients maximum. All right. We'll see if it's the same one. The first one I had in Italy in Modena, uh -huh. going back many years ago. Many years ago. Too many years ago. But we'll see. But I'm sure it'll be good. Yeah. All right. So let's. So I see we have all this stuff here. Yeah. So what we need is, of course, pasta, and we have some spaghettoni today. Spaghettoni is like huge spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Then we have some guanciale. Bacon. Guanciale. Bacon. Guanciale. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know. No, no, guanciale. Yeah, guanciale. Guanciale. For everyone, bacon. 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 Yeah. Not smoked bacon. Not smoked bacon. Exactly. If you're in the United States and you want to try making carbonara, you can use a not smoked bacon. What we use here in Italy is guanciale. I mean, originally we use guanciale, but even some Italians sometimes use the non-smoked bacon. Oh, really? Yeah, possible, possible. So the guanciale has more fat? It has more fat. fat. Yeah, okay. it has more fat than the normal pancetta. Plus, we have some pecorino romano, that is a cheese which is really, really, really salty. So, in case you want to make the same recipe, but you won't be able to find the pecorino romano, mm -hmm. you can use just parmigiano reggiano. But we're going to use both today. Today we're going to oh, use both okay. because I like the combination. Right. I mean, traditionally in Roma, they use just the pecorino romano, but okay. for me, it's too salty. Too salty. Even if you don't put a lot of salt in the pasta, but uh, guanciale is salty, salty. pecorino is salty, and everything will be really salty. So I like to use a little bit of parmigiano reggiano, which is less salty. And so you'll be using more parmigiano. Mm. For, the, for the mixture, or you do an equal amount between the two cheeses? Mm, no, today we use a little more of pecorino and less parmigiano. Okay. Because I, I want, by the way, to respect the tradition. No, no, we are no, 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 yeah. traditions are very important. Thousands of years. A lot of black pepper. Eek. A lot of black pepper. Okay. Fresh eggs. And that's all. That's all. Yeah, that's all. Well, this could be a quick one. It's going to be a bit fun. Okay. Yeah. And a, as every recipe that has not too much ingredients, mm -hmm. it's really important, the quality of ingredients, as we always say. Remember, quality is important. Fresh. 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 Go to your local farmer's market. Exactly. That's what I suggest. And of course, we have a special wine. Yes. For this. Yes. Today it's we from have, Verona. From Verona. Verona. Right. From Verona. Yeah. And his name Gargarega from the canteen of Custoza. But that's grape. Hmm? It's grape. Yes, it's, it's a grape. name of it's a name of grape. Usually with the grape Gargarega they make Soave wine, mm -hmm. Custoza wine, mm -hmm. depending on the region, not the region, the little area right. where you make it. The most famous probably is Soave, because nowadays Soave is even the most I mean it has received one trophy, mm -hmm. like the most beautiful Borgo of Italia this oh, year. Uh, this year? Yeah, yeah. And their wine is really famous. Mm -hmm. But the grape is named Gargarega. So you can find even the wine which is named Gargarega. Nice. But if you find the wine with that, it doesn't matter what vineyard it's coming from, it will have the same flavor? No, no because, because it depends on the uh, soil. Ah, okay. Yeah, it can be a little bit more acid, a little bit more aromatic, hmm. but depends on the area. Depends on the area. All so right, the same. Yeah, we're gonna eat and drink well today. Yes, I can feel, feel it. it. Okay, so let's start with the carbonara. So, so we took care of the eggs. So, because you just want yolk. Yeah, I want just the yolk because like this it will be more 
let's say more creamy, more interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I show you how to cut the guanciale. So a special way to cut this. Yeah, there's a special way to cut it. It's important that the guanciale or the bacon, depends on what you use, it must not be too much thin. So let's say what can be like half centimeter. Yeah, yeah. thick. Yeah, yeah. Roughly thick. Then you see the guanciale here have some black pepper. Mm -hmm. And this is salt and black pepper, so the way they cure it. Now I will not use this part, because it will be too salty. So I will, let's say, clean it, first of all. So one slice and another slice. Also, don't exaggerate with the quantity of guanciale or bacon, because as I wrote on the recipe, mm -hmm. 60 grams. I mean, 30 grams for each person is sufficient. Depending on the pasta you make, of course. Now we calculate 30 grams of one chale for 80 grams of pasta. Then we can start to cut it. And this depends on your taste. I like to don't make Which strips. Strips. I like okay. to make stripes. Stripes. Okay, strips. Strips. Yeah. Like this. And that's why you're going to cook it and put it into the exactly. cookie, not the little chunks. Yeah, not the little. Like this. Not the super Good. Put it in it. And after, we place it. Now let's cook it so you can real feel like you're eating meat. Exactly. So like mush mixed in there. Exactly. Even because when we cook it, it lose it releases a lot of grease, yeah. so from a huge piece it will become more small. Small, yeah. yeah. And now we start to make the cream. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to grade. Yeah. Equally. Equally. A little more of the grading of this before I told you, but more or less equally. Yeah. Okay. Now I just want to show the audience. Okay. In Italy, they use this. Now we know in the United States is this, and I think it's a little more convenient because you can do a lot. Yeah. At one time. But that's interesting. Let's do the Italian way. Want to do Italian? Let's do the Italian. We can put this over here. People know what that is because I don't want you to go into shop. Use a different tool. Okay. <laughs> so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start the most funny thing. You see the cheese is done, it's mixed. Combination. Yeah. Or yeah. mixed equally, equally. That's what equally. I was saying. Yeah, equally. Okay. Eggs, so yolks, mm -hmm. black pepper, cheese, we have everything. We're gonna mix them. Yeah, we're gonna mix them. So first one. Firstly, yolks. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Right. And I'm not sure how much of that. To I will. I will. Because you know, I make eggs in the morning. So <laughs> I think. Yeah, so we said. No, I don't want to use them. Oh, put my pepper. And the more do you feel it, the good smell of like yeah, really. wow. Now we add cheese. Thick mixing. Oh wow, it's very thick. Yeah, it becomes thick. A little more of the cheese. I mean, now the what in Italian we call carbo crema, mm -hmm. carbo crema, carbo cream. Now it's ready. We don't have to add anything else. Just like this. Just like this. After we'll add just a little bit of the water from mm -hmm. the pasta. Okay. With the end, with the starch inside. All right. So we have the water boiling, and yeah. while that's boiling, we can prepare the main 
salsa. The main salsa, yes. So we have to cook the guanciale. Little tip before cooking the guanciale, let's keep the pot. Mm -hmm. And then let's put some black pepper on it without adding anything else. Because when you heat the pepper, in general, when you heat species, mm -hmm. that piece will start to become more flavored. Ah, okay. so it will give an extra flavor to our sauce. And remember, in carbonara, black pepper is never enough. <laughs> Especially here in Veneto. More? But yeah, in Verona we love black pepper. That's why our famous peara. So mm -hmm. the sauce made of black pepper, black pepper and bread, with what we season our boiled meat. Like here we use a lot, a lot, a lot of black pepper. But people can adjust the pepper to their own flavor. Yeah, of course. More yeah. or less. Yeah. Yeah. You feel smell it, yes. The smell of black pepper. When it's possible to feel it, we put the one child in. And now we must be patient because the guanciale should not be cooked at a high, high temperature because we have to leave the guanciale until it releases the grease. Okay. And let's not add anything, no oil, no butter, no other fats. This is really important. Yeah, right. yeah. Now I move the guanciale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now does the pepper bring out the flavor of the guanciale, the bacon more? Yeah. Or Exactly. Now we say in, in Italian, in Italy we say it, it starts to sweat. Mm. Suda, in one salad, suda. And we don't have even to touch it too much. I mean, when, it, when you're sure 100% that it touched the pot, sufficient. Now, do you see mm -hmm. that the grease is coming on the pot mm -hmm. without any, without adding anything? Yeah. So the guanciale is releasing all the grease, and, and it's, it's becoming good. crunchy. Yes, yeah, quite crunchy. Yes, yeah. quick, really fast. During this time, we can put the salt in our water. So remember, as I told you, pecorino is salty. One chale is salty, bacon, I guess, can be salty, salty. even. Mm -hmm. So we won't use a huge amount of salt for seasoning our water. Like this, and like this, is yeah. enough. And again, this is the large salt. Yeah, the large salt, salt, but you can use the salt. salt. Yeah. 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 So let's say you must salt the water, more or less half than the normal pasta, in that case. Here. And we keep cooking the one shower. It's good, so how long are we gonna wait for? Oh, like five, six minutes, something like that. Five, six minutes. Really? Yeah. Five, five six minutes? Five, six minutes. What are we gonna do? Well, we have some wine. Good idea. Really All right, yeah. we might as well start. Yeah. And if you buy it to alcohol, you don't have to drink wine. Apple juice is fine. <laughs> okay. Chin chin. Chin chin a tutti. Nice. Very soft. Yeah, soft. A little acid, a little aromatic, but not too much. Mm -hmm. Not too much. I, it's one of my favorite wines. I think the water is ready. The water, water is water. ready, yeah. So, 106 grams mm -hmm. of pasta, spaghetti, in four. We will cook it for half of the cooking time. So, half here and half in the pot with the grease of one chale. Now, I show you everything. When you put spaghetti, don't worry, you just have to wait like 20 30 seconds and then it gets soft and then you get soft exactly and it goes into the water. Also, if you come more close to me, you'll notice that the water is not too much 
because mm -hmm. I want to keep all the starch I can, mm -hmm. because the starch is important for the recipe. So, like, five minutes now of cooking, mm -hmm. and guanciale is ready. So, I will pull it out from the grease. And when you take it out, it will become crispy. So here we keep the guanciale. Coming back to the grease of guanciale. Oops, is it too much? Okay. This is the quantity of grease that the guanciale has released. Mm -hmm. Now we have hmm? now we and the pepper. Now we have to do one thing that I showed you. This is my my version. My way. I put a little wine. Uh -huh. Normally, you must do it with the powder, water. with the water. I do a little wine to cut the taste of pork because it has really strong taste. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, and to give a little bit of acidity that will be good for our recipe. But the alcohol will burn off. Yeah, the alcohol will burn off. Yeah, of course. So I, I heat. Mm -hmm. at the maximum power and then wow and you what see a flavor flavor oh. and also it starts already to become a little creamy because when you mix a liquid with the grease it mm -hmm. starts to become creamy right. yeah and now I add even a little bit to the source of all the starch water. And I'll make it creamier. It will make it creamier. You see. Ready for receiving pasta. All right, so I see that there. Mm -hmm. But you said we were supposed to put some water in. Yeah. There. Would you like something to do? Yeah, of course. So? You must oh, it. I get to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how much? Don't exaggerate with it. I will tell you. Even less. Okay, start with less. Okay, put it on the side and now mix it well. Okay, now the consistency becomes a little thinner. Yeah, yeah perfect. The quantity. You need more water or no, this is good? No, 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 it's good, it's perfect. Oh, I did a good job the first yeah, time. Yeah, of course. Oh, of wow. Course, of course. Really becoming the system here. So now, after half of the time, mm -hmm. let's check. Not salty and really al dente, but now everything must be cooked in there. Yeah, yeah. that's what it means. It's hard. Yeah, really hard. But now really it's hard? Now, now it's more than a day, and now it's half cooked. It's still nearly crunchy. Right. You feel okay. with say the soul of the pasta in Italiano. L'anima si sente la pasta. So we're gonna actually put it right into the pan. Yeah, right into the pan. Let's not waste anything. And Definitely not with this recipe. Yeah, of course. And now we start cooking the pasta in air. So I heat mm -hmm. very well the pan, the pan. I mix everything with the grease and I add some water. This way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's say that the water must cover. Oh, the spaghetti. Half, half, yeah. half of the spaghetti. And in this moment, you better mix. Because when you mix, the starch comes out from the pasta quicker. And from now, we have to cook the spaghetti for like more two, three minutes, depending on how much was written on the pot. So okay. for example, our spaghetti were 10 minutes cooking, five minutes in the pot and five minutes in the pan. 
half and half. Now we add a little more water. Yeah, a little more water. That's why it's important to don't over salt it because every time the salt will become more concentrated mm -hmm. because the water evaporates and the, the salt, salt stays. stays. Now, little tip. Better to try the liquid. It's just a little bit salted, mm -hmm. just a little bit. It must be more salty, must be more salty, but if you taste the cream, the cream is very salty, salty. because of the pecorino cheese. So at the end, it will be perfect. Okay, now, mm -hmm. minus a uh, 10 minutes, right. so spaghetti are still al dente, but cooked, and the water is gone, the water is gone. Mm -hmm. but you see, a little bit. there's a little cream, mm -hmm. a little cream. So now I switch off the fire, okay. I add a little bit of water. But this is key, keeping the water. Yeah, still keeping the water, like this. So. It must be a little liquid, not too much, just a little liquid. And let's wait 30 40 seconds before putting the eggs. Like this, the pot will not be that hot. It I, don't be want, I, don't, I don't want to make scrambled eggs. This is important, <laughs> really important. So, wow, this is now. looking great. Can't wait to taste this. All right, there we go. Now, time for eggs and the cheese and the cheese. Let's use all the cream and let's mix everything. And you see the magic? And it's become even more creamier when there's yeah, water. It becomes creamy and creamy and creamy. Now I add a little more of water. So remember that it's really important to keep the water because the water makes the final consistency to the mm -hmm. carbonara. And a little more because I want it really creamy. And the aroma, the flavor, you yeah. smell it. And the sound. Yes. <laughs> the sound of creamy. The sound of creamy. Like walking through a swamp. Yeah. Yeah. The final yeah. stage. The final stage. Un piattamento. That is where a chef comes in to make it look so pretty. Look at that swirl. Bello spaghetto. Beautiful. Plus, don't forget the bacon, the fancy touch in Italiano, il guanciale, che sarà croccante, must be crunchy. Now, we put it in amo, we put it, we place it on top. Like this also, everybody will have the same quantity of manciale. And also, better to don't mix it with the... With the yeah, which is the normal yeah, way people are used to it. Because it becomes again soft, so it doesn't have any sense to make it crunchy if after you make it soft due to the water ah. and the cream. So you want it crunchy. I want it crunchy. That's, all, that's the whole secret to your form, your recipe. Yeah, my yeah. recipe. Also, final touch. Un pochino di pepe. Can be placed even here in the plate. Like these people even can smell the good flavor of black pepper. La nostra la carbonara ah. è pronta. Cosa dici Antonio? I'm ready. It looks good. I have to taste it. 
Signori, buon appetito. Buon appetito. O oh, buon provecchio. Mmm. Not having the bacon separate like this, you definitely get the flavor of the bacon and the pasta with the cream. Exactly. Nice. Very nice. And also, it's not over salted. No. It's definitely like a normal pasta, not over salted like every time when I eat carbonara. So, I mean, sometimes in the restaurant they exaggerate too much with the salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's important to, to remember to don't over salt the pasta. Well, don't over salt the water from the pasta. No, you definitely taste the flavor of the cheese. Yeah, that's why when I, when you when I was working in the restaurant mm -hmm. over the work, I have my pot, my special pot with water for the carbonara. So I don't cook the pasta for the carbonara in the same place where I cook the other pasta because of the difference of salt in the water. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. It's the only way because carbonara, cacio e pepe. La matriciana is different because it has the um, you can play with the tomato. The tomato takes off the salt, so that yes. cacio e pepe and carbonara, which are full of pecorino, you have to not, you have not to exaggerate with the salt in the water. That's good to know. That's why. That's why everyone's hiring you for building a private. <laughs> you gotta separate the waters. All right, Mina from Verona. Thank you very much. Check out our website. Exactly. And until next time, continue on my journey. Yeah, because I'm hungry. Ciao. Ciao a tutti. Ciao. Ciao. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Buon appetito.